Kieran, yeah. we should go get another Quest 3S. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go get another Quest 3S. Preston! Yo! We need to go get another Quest 3S. We're going to get another one? We are we got to do another giveaway. Okay. Are we going right now? We're going right now. All right, let's do it. All right. It's time. It's time. We're going to go get another Quest 3S. I don't even know where we're going. Are we going to Best Buy, Walmart, Target? It's a Quest. It's a Quest for the Quest 3S. The Quest Quest. Quest 3S time. Hopefully they have one in stock. <laughs> we didn't pre-order one. Or check the stock online. Or check the stock online. We're just gonna go in and hope. <laughs> Welcome to our remodeled Best Buy. So have they been question, here? If we didn't pre-order one, where do we go? We're gonna have to go to the back. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, here it is. They've got one. They've got two. Got two? Yeah, you could get two. I'll be right back. Non-working display unit. It's kind of cool they've got it on this frame here so that it just oh. stays up. You know what's funny is um, sometimes you see these demo units on eBay for sale because these are, they're specially designed to be demo units. The cameras don't work. There's no motherboard in there. It's the LCDs empty. don't have a cable, right? They're just like, they're just straight up demo units. But then people will sell these on eBay as four parts units or four repair units. But the only parts that are usable is like the shell. It's a total scam. If you see something that says demo unit on eBay, don't buy that. Cause there's no way that you're gonna be able to get that to work without literally buying a whole different headset and then just swapping parts in and at that point, What's the point? So, stay away from the demo eBay units. Oh, I got them on the front. Oh, okay. Well, I think on the side. Dang. We got tons. Oh, look at all those bad boys. We got another one. It's time. Are you coming, Preston? I'm back behind. Look how the box is all banged up. From the security Send thing. it back. Take it back. And we are back with the new Quest 3S. We're gonna see what this baby can do in the dark. So, we got a brand new Quest 3S. We just gave away a Quest 3S what, a couple weeks ago now. We mailed it off last week, so we've got I've got Preston with me here, by the way. Preston's going to be producing and hanging out this episode. What's up? We're back with our Quest 3S, and one thing that I didn't get a, a good chance to test the last time we had the 3S was the ability to play in the dark. We hosted a video the day that we gave the Quest 3S away and we announced the winner. One of the questions that we had during the video was about the IR emitters and how well it actually tracks in the dark. So what we did was we turned off the lights and we walked around and we could see how well it tracked and actually it tracked really, really well. Obviously compared to the Quest 2, it's got way more cameras and sensors on it, but when we first unboxed the Quest 3S, one of the questions was, well, what do these things do? Because you can see that you've got your RGB cameras up here at the top, just like the Quest 3, and then you've got your tracking cameras at the bottom, just like the Quest 3. So what are those? And they're IR emitters. So they, they emit infrared light so that you can track and play in the dark. Well, how dark? We're going to find out. And actually, I think for a lot of players, a lot of players like myself who play maybe in low light conditions or you play in your bedroom, that might be a big selling point behind the Quest 3S compared to the Quest 3. Yeah, the Quest 3's got a beat on the resolution and the, and the pancake lenses. If you can play in the dark, play in your bedroom with no external light sources, and it still tracks perfectly well, I mean, that's a selling point for me. So what we want to do today is we just want to test this out. We want to see how well it tracks. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually turn on the pass-through feature on the Quest 2 to visualize exactly how much light is being emitted from these IR sensors. Because even when we were doing our tests on the video last week, we could see that they were emitting some infrared light. Preston was actually picking it up in his camera when he was when he was watching me walk around with it in the dark. So we're going to turn it on, we're going to turn up the lights, and we're going to turn on the pass-through on the Quest 2 and see how it works. Let's go take some adventures into the warehouse area. Here we go. My trip. It's a fairing, your MetaQuest 3S. Now close the screen. You know what's crazy? See that little light right there? 
Yes. Whoop, on the screen. Yeah. That's an HTC uh, base station for the original HTC Vive. So I set that up just to see how much infrared light that emits. That's it right there. Sorry, it's a That's little. It. Yep. So. I'm coming back. But check out how much this emits. Oh. Can you see that on the screen? That is the Quest 3. That's the Quest 3S. That's wild. That's the Quest 3S. And you can see exactly why. Let me turn the Quest 3 on. Obviously, the Quest 2 has no infrared capability. Why is that? Well, just design limitations. They just didn't design it that way. But <laughs> but the Quest 3 the Quest 3 doesn't have IR emitters either. It's got its depth sensor and it's got RGB pass through and it's got the tracking cameras. But you can see once this headset turns on, and it's got nothing. Little tiny little tiny light up at the front here. Whoop. Here's here's my camera here. Little tiny light up the front here. That's all you get from the Quest 3. Nothing. But when you look at the Quest 3S, look at how bright that is. So everything that you do in the darkness, look at how well that lights my hand. Are you capturing this? I am. Yeah. yeah. So That's wild. Right. So you play play with this on complete darkness in here by the way. I mean, we could get it darker if we wanted to, but for all intents and purposes, look at how well that is is lit on my arms crazy and then oh you know what's funny I can actually see this I need I should I should screen record this just a little bit yeah go for it uh, it's gonna make me go through the whole setup process it's time to explore your new headset. I don't want to explore my new headset skip 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 now you're ready to experience I'm ready Yep. Dive into incredible apps, games, and more. I know I am. Uh. <laughs> oh, I can see your light. Well, are are you on. holding up a light? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, I can see your light really well. <laughs> that's bright. I can see. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, hold on. Okay, so like I can see your light really well. Yeah. I can there's there's some ambient light here. Turn this off. Oop. Turn that off. But like this over here. Okay, so it's tracking both my hands now. And if I put my hands really close here, I can actually see the infrared light bouncing off my hands into the camera. I'm gonna get some light on that real quick. Yep. So, well, now I've got your ambient light, so I can see this. Yeah. I can I can see the silhouette of my hands. But I can actually, if I get my hands really close to the IR emitters here, I can see the infrared light bouncing off my hands. So that's cool. But what's really cool, and I'll show you this, Preston, if you pop that camera down as soon as I'm done. But, like, I can, looking into this base station, I can see all of the infrared light emitters. So if you had infrared light emitters in your room... You would just you would just see in the dark. I wish we had like a really bright infrared light. Let's go in here actually. Let me, let me get past you real quick. Yeah. Like this is brighter. This is brighter in the headset than it is in person by like a mile. I can't hardly see you at all oh. in the darkness. Yeah. My, I guess my eyes are adjusted to this screen, but in the in the headset, this is like, I can see, I can see crystal clear. But yeah, no, this is super bright. Here, you want to trade? Going to the dark room, okay. <laughs> I don't like the way that sounds, the way you said that. <laughs> All right, where am I going? Well, just, can you see that box? Yeah, I can see the box. You're right, it's not as bright. We should get a really bright light. I can see that, that's wild. Isn't that wild? Yep. I could see that very clearly. Ah, oh, that's crazy. So, okay, so let's go outside and see how well it does just in the darkness outside. Oh, it's bright in here. <laughs> so bright.
That's so cool that you can just see yeah. that light. Look at the window. Yep. The, the yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah. I'm looking at. You've moved too far from your original position. Uh oh. Okay. I mean. I thought it was gonna be darker out here. Yeah, you could definitely. Let's do this. Let's uh. Create a boundary. How well does it map out here? Pretty good. Okay. And continue. But as you can see, like, it's just mapping my, my hands perfectly. That is super bright. It's crazy how that bright light. these lights are. Yeah, blinding. Yeah. That looks like it's the moon or the sun. And then there's our little store. Hi, little store. Hi, little store. Cool. Do you want to try it? You want to yeah. check it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's the actual moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wild. That is that is super bright. That is almost like the sun. You're right. That is crazy. I mean, you can see better in the headset than you can through this camera. Just about. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. And I love the the red. It looks kind of sinister. Yeah. And you got the white dot in the center. Like that just looks cool. Well, what's funny is you don't really see it in person. Mm -mm. No. no. In the camera, it's yep. bright as day. Yep. So this makes me feel like I'm in a, a movie scene yeah. right now that it's just uh, down there. It looks creepy. The lights are creepy and I feel a little bit like I'm in a movie. That's a horror movie. Yeah. It feels like a horror movie. And we're back. Hit the lights. Hit the lights. So can it see in the dark? It can't really see in the dark, but it can definitely track in the dark. You could play in complete darkness with this headset on without any worry at all. The infrared light coming off of these two IR emitters is crazy bright. I, I would I would compare it to even one of the base stations that we, we had, one of the 1.0 base stations. I guess we could try it with the 2.0 base station at some point, but it's putting off a pretty intense amount of light, enough for me to be able to see my hands like they're bright light, with the infrared cameras, with the tracking cameras from the Quest 2. So if you, like we were doing earlier, you use the, the Quest 2's cameras to actually see how much light things are putting off, this is putting off a ton of light. And it really works quite well. It does something that the Quest 3 and the Quest 2 cannot do. For somebody like me who plays in a lot of low light conditions, you play in the bedroom and your kids are asleep, your partner's asleep, and you want to get your VR on, this is this is the solution and it's amazing to me that this is a feature that other people aren't talking about when this is something that truly sets the Quest 3S apart compared to every other VR headset on the market. All right, now we got to talk about the exciting stuff. The exciting stuff is the giveaway. We're giving away another Quest 3S as you probably picked up. Woo! This one's going to be a little bit different, guys. We had uh, we had so many people participate in our last giveaway. Way more people than participated in previous giveaways that we've done and that's perhaps because we have more subscribers than we did before but regardless we had uh, almost 500 people participate in the last giveaway so we were definitely we were definitely overwhelmed by the amount of people that participated and trying to pick a winner and figuring out how to do that so this time around we uh, have a different platform that we're using to help with our winner selection process and there's a new set of rules. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the link in the bio to enter in the Quest 3S giveaway. And so once you go to the link, there's 16 different ways that you can actually enter to win the Quest 3S. So people who really wanna win, they can enter up to 16 times for a total, I, th I think 36 total entries. And if this one goes as well as the last one did, then we're just gonna keep doing giveaways. We really love the opportunity to do these giveaways and we really appreciate you guys participating in the last giveaway and just being active on our channel. We've added 2,000 subscribers just in the last month, which is crazy. Yeah, we're just, we just really appreciate you guys. So, so thank you. And I cannot wait to see who wins this Quest 3S. Thanks for being a part of our community. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We love the questions. And you know, we came up with this video idea because of somebody that asked a question about the IR emitters. So if you've got a good question, it might get turned into a video idea because, uh, you know, we don't know everything. If you stuck around this long in the video and you want to enter in the giveaway, there is a way that you can win five entries right out the gate. In the form where it says YouTube code, you can enter the code QUEST3S and you get five additional entries on top of everything else you do. So don't forget to use the code QUEST3S in the giveaway. That's really all I got for you guys today. We will see you on the next one.
heard Donald Trump used to work here. <laughs> Adventure time. Side quest. <laughs> making a pit stop. Yeah. Oh, that's good, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna come hold it real quick. Oh, yeah, do another one. It's so bright. <laughs> okay. <laughs>